Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure of meeting with Ron Coy and he is the author of a brand new book called The Velocity Mindset. Thank you, Gerhard. Thank you for having me. So can you define for me what is a velocity mindset? The velocity mindset is about a process on how you can go about achieving what you want in life without the self-imposed limitations we tend to put there for ourselves. Gerhard, when you hear the word velocity, what's the first word that comes to your mind? Speed. Exactly. And that's what most people think of. But if that's all you're going to think of, then usually what you're going to get is just burnout. The physics definition of velocity, the one that we're using for this book, is speed with direction. And the key here is not to start doing tasks. The key here is to start with the end in sight first. What is the direction? What is the goal? What do you want to have accomplished at the end of this meeting? At the end of the year, what does success look like for you? Because that's what's going to drive the real actions you should be taking. The problem, Gerhard, is, is that most people don't take the time to do that properly. Or they do it, like on sales calls, they tend to do it the wrong way. Let me give you an example. If I ask someone what you go for this call that you're about to make on prospect, and you know that you, you have a five sales call cycle to close a deal usually, and this is the first call. Many times you ask the person, what do you want? Oh, I want to sell this guy to buy my product. And you're going to do things that are not going to lead to that deal. You're going to talk too much. You're going to try and sell too much. You're going to talk about all the features without finding anything about this individual. A valid goal for that first call would be to qualify whether or not this is an opportunity for me. And if so, what's the next path forward? In the book, uh, you talk about uh, self-limiting beliefs. Is that the biggest velocity killer? I call it scar tissue. We all have things that happen in our lives. I'll give you an example. When I graduated college, the first thing I wanted to do was become a salesperson in the medical device industry. And I couldn't get a job to save my life because I kept saying you don't have the experience. But now, move forward 30 years later, some of my best success stories are in medical device companies where they've called me in and asked me to help them. The point is, is that when I first got that first call from a medical device company, I had a self-limiting um, belief system. Oh, this will never work in medical device because I haven't worked there and I couldn't even convince them to hire me as a salesperson a while back. And when I was able to overcome that, I gave the results that the client wanted. They were very happy and then they brought me into a couple more deals. But that's a self-imposing limiting thought. So we all have these things. The question is, do you let them stop you or do you talk yourself through it so that you can keep on going? What is the number one key quality that we need to develop to uh, let go of those self beliefs? Acknowledge that you're thinking about it. Because if you don't take the time to acknowledge it, then you're going to become the victim and you're not going to do what you want to do. And that's why and you wrote the book, The Velocity Mindset, exactly. because you learn how to shift your mindset and you replace that negative narrative into something that is more helpful and more encouraging. And on a personal note, why I wrote the book, after 2014, when I was done with the presidency of the National Speakers Association, I had a series of nine operations, mostly on my back. And when I was down getting my back fused, I started thinking about my own, you know, you know, what's my legacy? What's my significance? And I started going back in my life and realizing how much time I wasted because of, this, of the uh, stories that held me back. And while I'm very successful today, what more could I have done to help this world? What more could I have done to move myself forward? What did I miss out on because of those stories? And so it, it became a passion for me to, to, to put this down into a, a, a doctrine, if you will, that other people can read and, and go through their own stories and see what's holding them back. Because to me, being held back by stories that are not really real to begin with is really a shame for all of us. So I want everybody to head over to Amazon.com and get yourself a copy of the Velocity Mindset from the brilliant Ron Carr. Thank you.